Okay, in this assignment, uh, we are going to uh, play with a bunch of different tools. We're also going to uh, make something that I direct you to make. Um, and we're going to make sure that everyone understands how to use the tab function in order to control uh, size and shape. Uh, so I'm going to get started uh, not with the top of the basics uh, toolbar, but actually with the line, because I think the line is the easiest thing to understand. I just clicked on it to show you where it is. However, if I were clicked away somewhere, if you could, should look at your Vectorworks 2017 keyboard shortcuts, and in that you will see that pressing the number 2 will allow you uh, to go to the line button. So I just had to click on my screen because I have the video recorder on. And then I say 2, and it just went right over uh, to where the line is. Uh, this is extremely important that you start lose, using your keyboard shortcuts because keyboard shortcuts are really easy to learn, but once you learn the bad habit of always using your cursor for everything, it takes you far longer to draft. And if you're going to draft uh, for a living as a designer, uh, you want to do things as quickly as possible because you have lots of other things to do and enjoy in your life, um, and every second counts. Uh, also, it's a far more efficient way for you to know that you're going to the um, correct tool. Okay, so I've gone to the line. Uh, first, we have a constrained mode in this line. That means that everything you do uh, is within 30, uh, 45, 60, or 90 degree increments. Okay, so they're all sort of, it, it hops around quite a bit. If I hit the escape button, I can stop. Um, then I've got another line here. Uh, this is the unconstrained mode. And so this means I can put this line wherever the heck I want. If I were in the middle of drawing a line and I wanted to move to constrained mode, say I wanted a 30 degrees, I could would hold down the shift button. So I just hold down the shift button and now I go into constrained mode. All right, so that's great because I know for sure that a straight line is going to be straight if that's what I'm trying to do. Sometimes it can be two degrees, right? And that screws up your whole drawing. Um, so let's say if I wanted a 30 degree uh, line, there we are. Um, there's another option here. Uh, so there is the vertex mode and then there is the center mode. Center mode is great for something like a center line because it will just keep going in the opposite direction that you go in, right? And I'm scrolling out a little bit here so you can see how big that can get. So this can be really useful if you uh, decide to go into a uh, one of your classes. So if we go to dashed and we go to center line section dash, We've already set set it so that any line made uh, will automatically be your center line dash. And so I drew that. Now it looks pretty solid right now, but if I zoom in, I can see uh, the detail. Um, and so the detail and the size of that detail is something that we're not exactly going to know until we pick a scale and we print, which is why there will be a fair amount of printing in this class, at least small samples of your overall drawing. Uh, so here we have this tool. Let's put ourselves into a drafting medium. We've also got the double line here. Uh, the double line has the same two modes, constrained and unconstrained, but it also allows you to pick if it's top line control, center control, or bottom control. So top line control is here. Center line control is here. Now I'm what I'm seeing is that it's not showing the double line. And that's because I'm zoomed out too far. I made the separation here one quarter of an inch. So if I get in closer, I can see that it is actually a double line. So let's make it something uh, that's a little more visible at a distance. Let's say one inch. Enter. Now, if I draw the line, you still can't see it. So I'm gonna just zoom in here. So I've got a one inch separation. I'm gonna start with the top line here, middle line. See how it's uh, drawing this line from the middle? I just hit the escape button to stop. 
There it is, right in the middle. And then bottom line. And at any point, I could hit the X button, go back to my selection tool, select these, uh, and I could go ahead and modify them. Uh, however, I'm not going to at this point in time. Uh, the other thing I can do if I'm using the double line tool, which is Alt 2, uh, is I can go ahead and change this selection mode at any separation mode at any time. Um, so if I could say, um, you know, 0.5, enter. It always assumes inches, not feet. So now if I do this, it's 0.5 rather than 1 inch. So you'll notice I haven't erased anything yet. I'm going to quickly show you how to erase. However, uh, I want you to, while you're experimenting, not erase anything. That way I can see that you've played around with the tools. So uh, there's multiple ways to select something. First, as long as you hit the uh, X button to go up here to the selection tool, you can draw a gray box around something and select all of the things that are in that box. So I could do this, select these two things and delete it. You can see that this one wasn't totally uh, within the box. Uh, so since it wasn't fully within the box, uh, it won't be selected. Um, the uh, the other way is you can select things uh, just by clicking on them. If you want to select two different things, you hold down the shift button after you've selected the first item, and you can select as many items as you want just by clicking on them. Uh, you can always hit escape to undo that. All right, next we have rectangles, and they function pretty similarly uh, to uh, ovals and circles. So I'm going to let you play with those on your own. I do want to see that you have played with rectangles, circles, and ovals. So first we're going to start with the radius mode right here. I've just clicked on it. For the most part I'm clicking on things so you can see what I'm doing since you can't see when I uh, click on the keypad. So uh, here we have a, a circle and it's in radius mode. So the, the length, the main length that's going up and down is that radius. If I wanted to control that radius, I could hit the tab button. It selects the length and I could say six feet, enter. Bam, now I've got a six foot radius. Now it still wants to, uh, you know, do other things. Just hit enter one more time. You don't wanna click after you have uh, selected a tab. So let's see here, if I were to say, uh, let's see if you'll do it wrong. Sometimes it does. Uh, seven foot enter, right? I could click sometimes and it would mess it up. I think it tends to do that more with lines. It might make it shorter. So if I were trying to make a line and I'm, I don't really necessarily want this mode right now. So I'm going to do uh, this one. Uh, I could say uh, tab 21 feet enter enter is the best way to go about it. Uh, so I could say tab tw uh, 13 feet. I could also, if I just hit enter, it will assume inches. So 13 inches is one foot, one inch, right? And I could click elsewhere and it may or may not decide to uh, be one foot, one inches. So I'm just, I just am pointing out, don't click after you're using the tab function, just hit enter until it's complete. Um, they may have fixed that in the most recent update. It seems like they have. It used to screw people up quite a bit. 